Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to talk about two boxes that you do not need to order now to avoid missing out. We've talked about FOMO and Games Workshop before on this channel. The fact that Games Workshop is very good at marketing that fear of missing out, the fact that a lot of the stuff they produce is in limited numbers and you will have one weekend to grab it and once it's gone, it's gone. You'll never see it again. And you don't want to miss out on this box because of these amazing models that are in it, which you can only get in this box right now for a while. They'll be available separately later, obviously, but right now you can only get them from this box right into getting things like codexes in army boxes before everyone else. FOMO is a big part of Games Workshop's marketing strategy, and we've kind of got used to it. It's still not good, it's not a good thing, it shouldn't be a thing, but we've got used to it at this point. To the extent that I think often we overlook just how much stuff is based around that fear of missing out, just how much of their sales strategy is designed to make us really want something, whether we actually need it or not. And... Really, when I say need it or not, we're talking about a luxury a luxury item, a hobby, something that is not necessarily absolutely necessary to live, although the idea that if you don't have money, you don't deserve any hobbies is, of course, absolute nonsense. This, however, this, however, this latest example of that grab-it-while-it's-hot mentality has really pissed me off, because it's being used completely inappropriately, even more so than before. And it's only one line on two product descriptions on the store currently. But you know what? That is one more line than it needs to be. So, I'm going to show you two boxes that are available right now. We have Typhus Besiegers of Metallica, and we have the Caradon Sector Defense Protocol. Of course, they are Death Guard and Adeptus Mechanicus. The Death Guard one, as you can see, is £150, and the Admech one is £148.50. They consist of the Combat Patrol for those respective armies, plus two extra units, the Marshal and the Castellan robots in the case of the Admech, and the Blight Lord Terminators and Fetid Blow Drone for the Death Guard. Now, the issue that I have with these two boxes is not the fact that they exist, because Games Workshop do boxes like this fairly regularly, where they'll just chuck stuff together in a bundle, and there's no saving. This is an important thing to note. There is no saving for these. So the Combat Patrol of the Death Guard is £85, the Terminators are £35, the Fetid Blow Drone is £30, which comes to a total of £150, which is what this box costs, and you can probably guess how this breaks down. Funnily enough, the Marshal is 1850, the Castellans are 45 quid, and of course the Combat Patrol is 85, which adds up to £148.50, so two boxes with no discount. There is nothing going on here that you should be excited about. And yet, and yet, it's imperative that you do get excited because it says right down here available for a limited time only. This bundle is only available for one week only. That's bit redundant there. You don't need to put only in the same sentence twice. This bundle is only available for one week only. That's very, that's extremely redundant, bad English. Anyway, this bundle is only available for one week only, from Tuesday the 16th of November until Tuesday the 23rd of November 2021 only. I added that extra only. Order yours today to avoid missing out. Order it right now. Get on it. Go to the store, buy it this second to avoid missing out. Now, what exactly are we missing out here? That's the question. That's the question I'm asking you. What are we missing out on? We're missing out on the chance to pay full price for three boxes that are always available. My god, what a treat. What a deal. I can't believe they would offer something so delectable and delicious for us, the humble customer. What the hell is this sentence? Like, I know they do, that I know, I know, FOMO is a massive part of the way they market stuff, everything is designed around, you know, one-shot boxes and stuff that you'll never see again, and oh my god, look at this box set and this army set, and look at this great narrative thing that we've made, and you can only get it this weekend, I know that, but, but, when it comes to that stuff, at least it is something new, there is something in there that is new, there is something that is different to what we've had before, even when it comes down to the fact that most of these boxes are just two armies, full of existing units and one new special character model. We know that's the case. We know that. This is not even that. This is not even that. 
This is just three boxes that you can always buy all the time. There is nothing new. There is nothing special. There is nothing different. There is literally nothing in here that you can possibly miss out on. What are you missing out on? I mean, let's just look at the Death Guard range. Let's just take a look, because you don't want to sit there and think, well, hang on, maybe these things are, maybe they're like last chance to buy or something. No, of course they're not. Blight Lord Terminators and the Fetid Blow Drone. They're not, they're not going anywhere. They've been available for ages, and they're going to be available for ages. They're not new. They're not disappearing. They're not imminently on the verge of vanishing from the store. They just exist as units. So once again, looking at this box, and then looking at this, order yours today to avoid missing out, I ask the question again to the jury, what exactly are we missing out on here if we don't buy this box right now for no discount? I mean, uh, is it just the chance to have it arrive in one box? Is that it? Would it normally arrive in three boxes and we're passing up the opportunity to get one larger box instead of three smaller boxes? Is that what it is? Because I don't think that's worth writing down on a page. Let's be fair though, we do need to check the Admech one because, uh, of course, of course, when we look at this combination of units and we scroll down, again, this bundle is only available for one week only. I can't get over that. Order yours today to avoid missing out. Well, I mean, let's just let's just check let's just check the Admech range because you never know. You never know. Half this stuff could be last chance to buy. We may never see it again. So let's just check because we don't want to miss out, do we? We don't want to miss out. We can't avoid missing out. It says right there. Okay, so we've got the Skitari Marshal. It's not last chance to buy. We've got the Castellan Robot. It's not last chance to buy. And the Combat Patrol. Also. Seemingly, not last chance to buy. So again, the question kind of has to be asked, what exactly are we going to miss out on if we don't order ours today? Now, of course, that's a very over-the-top and extreme reaction to this, <laughs> intentionally, so I played it up a little bit. But it does, to me, highlight the issue that I have with this particular line. And I know it's only one line, but it feels scummy and deceptive. Given that Games Workshop harnesses the power of FOMO so effectively for all their releases, throwing in a this bundle is available for one week only, sorry, only available for one week only, got to get it right, order yours today to avoid missing out, it feels deceptive because you're not getting anything new. You're not getting anything different. None of the things in this bundle are going to be unavailable once this bundle disappears. You could buy them before this bundle. You'll be able to buy them after this bundle. In a way... In a way, they are being technically truthful. This bundle is only available for one week only, but in reality, what that means is that for one week only, you click Add to Cart once instead of three times. Now, is that worth writing, order yours today to avoid missing out? I don't think it is. And I think putting something like that in there, especially for those who are perhaps new to the hobby, who are new to the way Games Workshop works, even down to like people buying for other people, I can easily see people looking at that kind of statement, kind of going down, having a look, looking at what the actual contents is, getting a feel for it, seeing order yours today to avoid missing out, and thinking they're getting a good deal, thinking they're getting something that they may never be able to get again. But that's not true. None of that's true. These are all readily available kits that you'll be able to get forever and a day. There is literally nothing nothing about these bundles that is limited there is nothing about these that you need to worry about like missing out on they are just a convenience bundle to make you click once instead of three times and just just adding in that kind of additional that additional push that little that little shove towards making it seem like it's something special just feels scummy and deceptive at the end of the day I don't like that at all. Like, these bundles exist purely so that you can click once, not a few times. We all know this, but there are people who don't. There are people who are going to be new to this hobby who do not know that, who will think they're getting something out of this. And yeah, technically they are. They're getting the, the models they ordered. But you cannot tell me that things like order yours today to avoid missing out or available for one week only doesn't at least imply that you are getting more than you would otherwise by buying this particular bundle, or these particular bundles. It's just rubbed me up the wrong way. It does not feel good. Anyway, that was very ranty 
very ranty compared to normal. I'd be curious what you think of this, whether you're not bothered, whether you think it is a little bit off, whether you think it's just become kind of standard practice at this point and you didn't even bat an eyelid. I suspect a uh, <laughs> an alarming and probably upsetting number of comments will revolve around that kind of sentiment, to be honest. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you have the same reaction? Were you just like, what is different about this? Or did you just go, yeah, no, that's that sounds about right for GW at the moment? Let me know what you think. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games for those of you in the UK and Europe, which you can use to support the channel. And there's one for Noble Knight Games in the US. We have a US affiliate link now, which you can also use if you would like. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.